Today we are going to do CompTIA Plus Core 2 practice test and this will be already for the latest CompTIA Plus Core 2 exam which was released in 2025. And the number for this exam is 220-1202. And first question, a technician needs to remove a virus from user's computer. What should be done first? Delete all user files. Disable Windows Update, reinstall the operating system, or disconnect from the network. So, what would be the correct answer for this? If what should be done first if a technician needs to remove a virus from users' computers? Which would be the most correct answer from these ones? And the correct answer here is disconnect from the network. As disconnecting from the network prevents the malware from spreading or downloading additional malicious files. A technician is helping a user who is unable to open certain files on a USB drive formatted with NTFS. And you should know for your CompTIA Plus Core 2, all different file systems which are for Windows and as you know NTFS stands for New Technology File System which was created by Windows and the user is using macOS computer. What is the best solution? Convert the file system to HFS plus format the drive to XFAT install an NTFS driver for macOS Enable BitLocker encryption or disable antivirus software. So, which would be the correct answer here? And the correct answer here is install an NTFS driver for macOS. As macOS can read NTFS formatted drives but cannot write them without third party software. A technician needs to choose a file system for a new Linux installation that supports journaling and file permissions. Which file system should they use? FAT32 and like I mentioned guys for Core 2 you should know all these file systems and how they are different for macOS, for Linux and for Windows. So first answer would be FAT32, XFAT, ext 4 NTFS or HFS plus and here a correct answer would be ext4. As ext4 is a standard Linux file system that supports journaling and advanced file permissions. And next question, a user reports that their computer is running very slowly and task manager shows that the CPU is running at 100% and multiple unknown processes are using system resources. What is the first step the technician should take? Update the graphics driver, run an antivirus scan, increase the page file size, reinstall the operating system, or disable user account control. And here the correct answer would be to run an antivirus scan, as unknown processes consuming high CPU usage are often signs of malware infection. Next question, a user reports that they are unable to install software updates because of insufficient disk space. What is the best tool to resolve this issue? Event Viewer, Windows Defender, Disk Cleanup, Task Scheduler or Device Manager. And correct answer here is if you don't have enough space, as you can see here guys, the user reports that they are unable to install software updates because of insufficient disk space. So they don't have enough space. So best solution in this scenario would be to use disk cleanup. As disk cleanup removes temporary and unnecessary files to free up disk space. And next question, a user complains that their Windows laptop frequently displays pop-up ads, even when no browser is open. What should the technician check first? Task managers for suspicious background processes, screen resolution settings, Windows activation status, BIOS version or the printer spooler service. 
And here's the correct answer is Task Manager for Suspicious Background Processes. As persistent pop-ups often indicate malware running in the background. And like I mentioned at the start guys, if you are interested to take 450 questions on these are already updated for Core 2, then visit my Udemy. And on Udemy I recently created my account and here I already have added some courses and there is also a course with 450 multi-choice practice questions. And this is this one. Currently, as you can see, there are 200 questions, but during this week, I will add there 250 more questions. A technician needs to securely remove all data from a hard drive before disposing of it. What is the best method? So, if technician needs to securely remove data from hard drive, not from SSD, but from hard drive. Delete all files manually, disable the user account, change the file system to XFAT, low level format, or move the files to the recycle bin and empty it. What would be the correct answer here? And correct answer here is low level format. As low level format permanently erases all data preventing recovery. Next question, a user reports that their antivirus software is constantly being disabled and a known program keeps installing on their Windows PC. What is the most likely cause? A rootkit infection? A faulty RAM module? A misconfigured firewall? An outdated video driver? Or corrupt display settings? And here a correct answer is a rootkit infection, as rootkit can disable security software and allow unauthorized installations. And next question, a technician is configuring security settings on Windows 10 computer. The organization requires that user be prompted before installing any new software. What should the technician enable? Windows Defender Firewall. Windows Recovery Mode, a User Account Control or UAC, Secure Boot, Event Viewer Logging. Which would be the correct answer here? And the correct answer here is User Account Control UAC. And by the way, on this score too, for the new exam, you will also be getting questions for Windows 10, as there are still lots of companies who are still using Windows 10. And Windows 10 and Windows 11 are very, very similar operating systems. A UAC prompts users before allowing software installations to prevent unauthorized changes. A user is unable to open an encrypted file they created last week on Windows 10. They recently changed their Windows password. What is the most likely reason? The file system is corrupt. The encryption key was tied to the previous user credentials. The Windows Update service is disabled. The file was converted to a different format. Or the file has been quarantined by antivirus software. And the correct answer here is the encryption key was tied to the previous user credentials. As Windows encrypts files using user credentials and changing the password can cause access issues. A user is having trouble connecting to a corporate VPN. Other users can connect without issues. What should the technician check first? Monitor refresh rate. Windows activation status the user's firewall settings, the printer spooler settings, or device manager. And here the correct answer is the user's firewall settings, as firewall can block VPN connections preventing access. And a technician needs to configure file sharing on a macOS computer so that the Windows user can access shared folders. What file sharing protocol should be enabled? AFP, and this is on macOS computer. What file sharing protocol should be enabled? AFP, NFS, SMB, RDP, or FTP? And the correct answer is SMB, server message block. 
as SMB, Server Message Block, is the standard file sharing protocol for Windows and Mac OS interoperability. A user reports that they accidentally deleted an important file and need it restored. What tool should the technician use? Group Policy Editor, Task Scheduler, Previous Versions in Windows, Device Manager or Windows Defender. And correct answer here is previous versions in Windows, as Windows allows users to restore previous versions of files if file history of or system restore is enabled. And next question, a technician needs to create a full backup of Windows 11 system, including user files and system settings. What backup method should they choose? So this is if they want to create full backup on Windows 11. Incremental backup, differential backup, file copy, system image backup or task scheduler backup. And here the correct answer is system image backup. As system image backup creates a full copy of the operating system applications and files. A user reports that they are receiving access denied error when trying to delete a file. What is the best tool to resolve the issue? NTFS permissions, Windows update, task manager, device manager or disk cleanup. And here you should know that NTFS file system, they have also permissions which you can add to folders and your files. So this is NTFS permissions. As NTFS file permissions control access and modification rights for files. And technician needs to verify network connections and troubleshoot connectivity issues. Which command line tool should they use? Check disk, disk part, IP config, DXDIAG or MS config. And here is the correct answer IP config. As IP config displays network configurations and helps troubleshoot connectivity problems. A user is complaining about slow performance when browsing the web. Other applications work fine. What should the technician check first? So, if there is a problem with browsing a web, disk fragmentation, browser extensions and cache, monitor refresh rate, Windows activation or printer driver updates. So, what should the technician check first? And the correct answer here is browser extensions and cache. A large browser cache or excessive extensions can slow down web browsing. A user complains that their system keeps restarting after installing Windows updates. What is the most likely cause? Overheating CPU, insufficient storage space, defective power supply or corrupt update files. And here the correct answer is corrupt update files, as a system that restarts repeatedly after an update may have corrupt update files, requiring a rollback or reinstallation. A technician needs to encrypt a USB drive for a Windows user. What built-in tool should they use? Windows Defender, BitLocker, Task Scheduler, this cleanup or group policy editor. And here the correct answer is BitLocker. As BitLocker encrypts drives to protect sensitive data. And with BitLocker you can also obviously encrypt your hard drive of your computer or PC. And next question, a user reports that they are unable to access the internet, but they can access internal company resources. What is the most likely cause? So user can access internal company resources or internal company network, but they can't reach out to the internet. What is the most likely cause here? Faulty Ethernet cable, DHCP server failure, incorrect IP configuration or ISP outage. And 
Logically, this is incorrect IP configuration, as if a user can access internal network resources but not the internet, the device likely has an incorrect gateway or DNS configurations. And yes guys, this is it for this test, and if you, like I mentioned, if you are interested in taking 450 questions, you can visit my other courses on Udemy, and there you can take this test, which is CompTIA Plus, practice test 1202 exam practice questions and currently like I mentioned there are 200 questions at the recording of this video but there will be 450 questions by the end of this week. So as for core 1 if you are interested there is also another 5 exams 90 questions each and this is also for the latest exam and yes if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one